Imagine if you could measure your attractiveness to Japanese women with a simple test, a simple list of desired physical and personality traits. Well now, you can. An article in a Japanese woman's magazine recently caused a stir online after it revealed the characteristics of the perfect man. Today we're going to go through that list and uncover the secrets to success together. And to help us understand why Japanese girls find some of these weird and wacky traits appealing, we're going to be interrogating a real-life Japanese girl, my good friend Chiaki, who you may have seen a few years back in our previous groundbreaking expose on how to date Japanese girls. I'll be keeping a score out of 26 as we go through, and so should you, and perhaps we can find this perfect hypothetical man. Who knows? Could be, uh, could be sitting right here. Or maybe it's you. Anyway, pen and paper at the ready. Let's go. Jackie, good to see you again. Hi, nice to see you. For our once in every four year yes. meetup. <laughs> but today I've got a list of 26 traits um, that Japanese women allegedly like in a guy. Uh, we're going to go through each one and hopefully you can tell us a bit about why that trait is on the list. And while we're doing that, we're going to keep a score and see how many of those traits that I actually have. So you take that, you keep the score. Um, obviously, the number is going to be pretty high. because oh, you know, Obviously. Um, so just don't run out of any ink. So trait number one, the ideal man is good at cooking a rice omelette. That's very specific, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, now I can cook an omelette, I can cook an omelette very well, but I can't cook any, I can't cook rice. Okay. I seem to always mess it up and it turns into like a risotto. It goes all watery oh, and horrible. Right. So, off to a great start. Why do you think of all the dishes, and why do you think it's it's rice omelette? I think that's because all children like it. Right. And we try om omelette when we are child. So if a guy cook it, I think that's really cute. Right, there you go then. Rice omelette. Oh, you can't cook, so I'm gonna cook now. Brilliant. Off to, a, off to a great start. Fail. The ideal guy is always smiling. Yes. Would you want to date someone who's always smiling? But it's, if, if you smile unnecessarily every single minute, that's awkward. Exactly. But Say you fall down the stairs yeah. into a bucket yeah. of knives yeah. and I'm smiling. Yeah. I wouldn't be a very good boyfriend, would I? Yeah? That, that seems like a stupid point. Yeah. Stupid. Glad I'm not always smiling. So I, I don't think. It's fail. The ideal guy currently works part-time at a cafe. Right, why is that there? I don't understand ah, that. I kind of understand. I think girls love cafe in Japan, like all um, Japanese girls love to go to a cafe. And if guys are walking there, that's cute. Right. Like, and if you're handsome walking at a cafe, I feel like, wow. <laughs> right. I mean, let's just... <sighs> This is, I mean, I suppose if, if you work part-time at a cafe, there's a good chance you're going to be smiling a lot because you need to get mm. the tips in and there's a good chance you're going to be able to cook a, a, a rice omelette. So it seems like a very specific type of person. Yeah. And so far of the three, I haven't got a single one of those traits. Brilliant. No, you haven't got any yet. The ideal guy wants to get married someday. Um, no, I don't, I don't want to do that either. Oh, you don't want to get married in the future? No. I'd be too busy working part time at the cafe to have such luxuries as marriage and love. I did date a Japanese girl once, and after dating for a month, the word marriage started coming up an awful lot in conversation. After one month? After one month. Yeah, so after 25, or if you reach 30, like everyone expects we have to get married. I heard there's, a, there's an expression, isn't there? Yeah. There's an expression that you're a Christmas cake. Christmas cake? In Japan. Yes. Christmas cakey. After 25 years old, after the 25th of December, mm. Christmas cakes go on discount and nobody wants a Christmas cake anymore. Mm. Something quite yeah. si quite sinister. It's a bit sad, but yeah. yeah. There's a sense of pressure to, to get married. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Or to be on the path to marriage yes. by 25 years old. Yes. That's why if you think about marriage, when you have a relationship, girls will be yes. Girls will be yes. <laughs> Girl, that'll be another good t-shirt. Girls will be yes. <laughs> Uh, the ideal guy likes eating meat and meaty dishes. Yes, finally! Oh. That yes, tick, put that down, yes. Why do you think that is? What's, what's, oh. what's, what's appealing about eating meat? I mean, I get it. That's because eating meat is manly. Is it? Like eating little by little vegetable. Mm, I would agree. I look at me, I'm like, wow, manly. Manly. 
Um, the ideal guy often rolls up the sleeves of his long sleeve shirts. Ha! Look at that. Yeah. Get in. It's done. Um, rolled up in it. And I didn't. I didn't read that and then do it. My sleeves were rolled up. You can go back. Look at the start of the video. Why is that though? That's really weird. Isn't it? But I understand. Like it looks cool. It does look cool. Like a little bit stylish if you. A little bit stylish. Roll it off. If the shirt is white, it was better, but they kiss. What? The ideal guy loves cola. I, d I don't, first of all, I don't like cola. I always feel a sense of guilt whenever I drink it because I feel my teeth eroding and I feel like I'm just getting fat. Why is that on the list? That's really specific. It's because uh, that comes from foreign. It's like, it's not Japanese product, like kalpis. Right. If a guy have kalpis, mm. okay, that's Japanese product. But if he has Coke, oh, that's from America or oh, that's from England? Oh, <laughs> really? So yeah. you're telling me if I'm walking down the street in Japan yeah. with a can of Coke, mm. I'm increasing my chances of, you know, having a girl talk to me? Uh, I think so. It's like because it says Coke in English, that's cool. Right. Mm. It sounds, you're, you're definitely being funded by Coke. It's starting to feel like Stranger Things, the product placement oh, for Coke. Oh, oh. The ideal guy has a lot of friends. Yeah. Boom! I've got 1.3 million almost. 1.3 million sure. friends. So yes, that's yes. Definitely. Are you my friend? You are my friend. Awesome. The ideal guy is kind and gentle. Tick. Yes. No. What do you mean no? Fail. The ideal guy is a member of an athletic club as opposed to an art club. Can we include any clubs that I've, I've done in my entire life? Or does it have to be now? No. Right, nope. That's a no. I cycled across Japan. That might counter if you carry on. Right. Did you finish? Did I, I finished the cycle. I don't cycle now though. Fail. Fail. The ideal guy is thin and muscular. Fail. Harsh. That's, that's <laughs> harsh. The ideal guy will give you accessories for your birthday present. No, I despise accessories. I usually take girls out for like a dinner or travel or something. I like to mm. focus on experiences rather yeah. than material things. Yeah, so if you can give a girl accessories and a nice dinner, that'll be perfect. Yeah, but I can't afford both. Yeah. I can't have a nice accessory mm. and dinner. It has to be one or the other. What would you rather have? I want something. Accessory. <laughs> So material items yeah. are more of a thing. Yeah, more. I can keep it and I'll, I'll, I would think, oh, this is from my boyfriend. Yeah. Every time I look at it, oh, yeah. this is my boyfriend. Yeah, but think of a nice meal at McDonald's. Mm. How, you know, if you go to McDonald's, that memory will last a lifetime. A nice meal, you know. Yeah. Whereas a, a bit of an accessory, that'll be gone in two years. Lost or something, you know. Um, the ideal guy has a short hairstyle. Yes. Long. But is this short enough? Mm, I think it's this bit is a bit long. Right. Yeah. Why is a short hairstyle good? That looks like like a boy. It looks like a boy. <laughs> Brilliant. So I don't look like a boy. <laughs> I do notice though most of my Japanese friends do have short hair. It does seem to be yeah. like the fashion in Japan not to have facial hair mm. and to have kind of short hair. I think Japanese girls like a sawayaka boy. Refreshing, yeah. invigorating. So like breathe suits him. Right. So if you have short hair, yes. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not refreshing. Um, close. That's that one out the window as well. Um, the ideal guy has black hair. No, can't do that. That doesn't look right on me. But we like light brown color as well. All right. Mm. But do I get that one? Uh, this is no. Right, brilliant. The ideal guy asks, are you okay when you're feeling bad? My girlfriend was once upset on Valentine's Day uh, when I bought her some post-it notes as a gift. Um, now, you could debate whether or not it was appropriate to buy her post-it notes on Valentine's Day, but I did ask her if she was okay while she was visibly agitated. So I think that's a tick. Oh, is it? Is it, yeah. Tick. What? Tick. All right. And that's definitely not me being desperate. The ideal guy limits his clothes purchases to 10,000 yen per month, which is about $90. Yes, I probably spend 
about fifty dollars a year on clothes. A year. A year. I don't do clothes well, as you can tell. Uh, so yes, I get a tick there. I get that one. Yeah. Brilliant. About time. It's been about Finally. half an hour since the last tick. Why do you think that is? I just thought that'd be the opposite because Japanese girls quite like fashion. Yeah. Wouldn't it be attractive to have a guy who spends like over a hundred dollars a month on clothes? But also simple is the best. Simple is the best. <laughs> But the next point kind of contradicts that, right? The ideal guy spends a lot of time in the Harajuku neighborhood. Harajuku is the shopping district in Tokyo. Yeah. All the points we've had so far, yeah. right, kind of masculine. But a masculine guy isn't gonna go and spend lots of time around Harajuku, surely? No, really. Contradictory list, stupid. You know what? But if you're simple and go to Harajuku like this, you'll be stunned out. Really? Think so. What, for my shit fashion? Your shit fashion will stand out. <laughs> my shit fashion will stand out. Walking through Harajuku with my shit fashion, coke in hand. The ideal guy prefers navy blue or white clothing. Don't See? get it, I don't, I don't do white clothing because no. That's all related to refresh. Refresh. Yeah, the word refresh. That's a key word. So I'm not ref I, I basically look quite dirty because I wear black <laughs> clothing all the time. Mm. You don't be, you are not categorised as refresh. I'm not categorised as <laughs> refreshing. That's the most horrible thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh, sorry. That I'm not refreshing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel, I feel <laughs> awful. <laughs> I feel awful now. The ideal guy is the oldest son out of his siblings. Yes. Through no fault of my own, through sheer luck, I am the oldest sibling. I've got one sister. That's interesting because usually the oldest sibling I find in Japan is burdened with a lot of issues mm. because usually the eldest sibling has to take care of the parents and do things like that. Why would you want to marry the eldest sibling? I don't know, the impression is good, I think. Like, I can tell, oh, you're oldest, so you can look after, you know, siblings and the parents, you know how to look after someone. So maybe it's the sense of maturity? I think so, yeah, that is. Mm. Mm. The ideal guy often wears hooded sweatshirts. No, I like to dress like I'm a reasonably priced hitman. Why, why is a hooded sweatshirt appealing? I would have thought Japanese girls would be more into smart clothing, like mm. suits and shirts and things. It's, I don't know why, but it looks a little bit stylish. Right. Yeah, with the hoodie and then... What's that? <laughs> right. The ideal guy has had three prior girlfriends. Yes! Done it again. Tick. I've had three prior girlfriends. I've had probably more than that. Not bragging. Here. Just want that point. Uh, the ideal guy has his birthday in August. No, mine's not in August. Why is that a thing? Out of all the ones we've had so far, that's the most confusing for me, I think. That one's annoyed me, because there's, there's literally no reason it's on the list, it's just there. It's just odd. The ideal guy regularly texts, emails, calls you. No, I despise phone calls. This is actually depends on girls, but I know many girls want to text often, like a couple of times a day, like every single day <laughs> as well. Really? Yes. I mean, that's quite subjective. What's regularly? Is that regularly. daily? Is that hourly? Is that, you know? It's every day. I don't know if I should get a point there or not. No. No, right, okay. Probably the most weird one on the list so far. Um, the ideal guy is into Beatles. Right, I... Beatles? First of all, I don't like Beatles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've just slapped you around the face then. <laughs> you don't like Beatles? <laughs> I read an article that Japanese girls find Beatles cute. Because Beatles look like a man. Beatles look like a man. Do they? <laughs> Let's get that up on the screen. Oh yeah, they look the same. Now I don't get why that's on the list. I get the impression this survey wasn't like a, wasn't like thousands of women that were interviewed. It was just one weird Japanese woman they found in a street in Shinjuku. Oh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's finish up. The ideal guy can drink a lot of alcohol. Yes, yes, I'm British and I drink a lot of alcohol. That's like what British people do. I get a tick there. And the last one, the ideal guy doesn't wear aftershave or cologne. I do oh, wear really? aftershave. In summer, when I was working as a teacher, yeah. going into rooms that were like, it, it, Japanese school rooms aren't, they don't have air conditioning. Oh, so it's okay. like going into an oven and then you go and teach for an hour in front of 40 people. I needed aftershave to cover the scent of sweat. Never. You know what? If your clothes smell good, right. girl will fall in love with you. Right. 
<laughs> Put that down on your list. Write that down. If your clothes smell good, girl will fall in love with you. So it means you use the, how do you say, like a nice washing powder? Yeah. Nice washing soap? Is this the bit where you pull out like some sort of sponsorship deal? With some <laughs> Japanese washing, <laughs> washing company? And there you go. Um, what was my score? I'm not sure I really want to know. Eight. Eight out of? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Well, that's, that's me done. No chance. Um, I'm ba basically the most unappealing guy ever to Japanese girls. That might explain why I've not been so successful in Japan in the last seven years. Chris, yes. you, should, you should be able to tick everything. Yeah? Uh, so, on your next video, you can try everything right. and make another Chris. Make another Chris? Yes. Which would require me to dye my hair, yeah, dye lose hair. weight, and start working no. part-time at a cafe. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to tick all these boxes. Okay. And there isn't going to be a follow-up video where I do. But uh, thank you, Jackie, for helping us to understand some of the weird things on this yeah. list that I don't think we'll ever quite mm. comprehend. What was your score, though? Let us know, guys, in the comments below. See if you can beat me. Probably everyone. not as difficult. Yeah, literally everyone. <laughs> if you get less than eight, well done. Um, you're probably in the minority. Uh, but for now, thanks, Jackie. Thanks thank for so joining us and being here. Do go and check out Jackie's YouTube channel, simply called Jackie. Clever that. To rebrand to Chris. Chris. What are you gonna do? Chris. Chris unappealing abroad. Chris everywhere. Chris everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. New channel name sorted. Chris everywhere. <laughs> but still not good enough to date Japanese girls.